Hello everyone. So in this video we're going to talk about how to calculate percentages without a calculator. When I was at school you weren't allowed a calculator till the fourth year. That means year 10 in today's money. So we had to do a lot of calculations without using a calculator and at the moment in the Maths GCSE there is a non-calculator paper and obviously in things like SATs and 11 plus you're not allowed a calculator. So how can we work out percentages without a calculator? Well, in our last video we talked about 10%. And if you remember, 10% of a number is one tenth. And we talked a lot about how to divide by 10. So obviously if we had a number, so what we're gonna do here, I think we're gonna do 10% um, of each number, 20%, and then we'll do 40%. So let's take the number, let's take 70. So if we want to work out 10% of 70, remember what we do, we divide by 10 so we can literally take off that zero. So the answer would be seven. Okay, you can use 10% as a basis of a lot of your percentage calculations. So if you wanted to know 20%, 20 is double 10, so all we do is double that 7 to give us 14. So if we want to know 40%, we're going to, I mean, it just so happens that 40 is double 20, so we could double the 14, but it's not always going to be like that. So let's, let's take it from the 10%, we times that 10% number by 4, so 7 times 4, 28. So that is 10%, 20%, 40% of 70. Okay, what about if we had, um, slightly more difficult, let's say we had 24. So, first of all, we need to know what is 10% of 24. Well, we're dividing by 10, so we're putting a decimal point before the last digit, which will give us 2.4. So 10% of 24 is 2.4. If we wanted to know 20%, well now we know 2.4, is 10%, all we do is double it, so we get 4.8, 20% of 24, 4.8. Again, if we wanted to know 40%, all we'd have to do is times that number by four. So four, we're gonna do a little um, column multiplication over here. Could have done it in our head, but we're gonna do it like this. Four fours are 16, and then four twos are eight so that's 96 right we know roughly it's going to be four times two is eight so the decimal point must go in there it can get confusing as we've said before when you're doing column multiplication involving decimals so we just know we've done it checked it carefully it's going to be 9.6 okay so what if we had um, um 17 right so 10% of 17 is 1.7. Right, 20%, all we've got to do is double that 1.7 to give us 2.4. Right, 40%, we just need to do times that by four. Now I happen to know that four 17s are 68, so I can just put in 6.8. Okay, let's do one more. What if we had a, um, a decimal? So let's do 0 0.8. So 10% of 0 0.8, we're gonna divide it by 10. So what we're gonna do is slide in a zero to give us 0 0.08. That is our 10%. So working out 20% is easy. Double eight, 16. So it was eight hundredths. Now it's gonna be 16 hundredths, which will be 0 0.16. If you want to know 40%, four times eight is 32. So that will be 0 0.32. Okay, let's just look at a few other calculations in the same, using the same technique, but with different percentages. Okay, so let's work out 30% um, of 80. So all we've got to do is work out 10%, which is divided by 10 to give us 8, 
And then to get 30%, we just times it by three. So that will give us 24. So next time you're in a shop and there's a 30% sale and your mum says, that 80 pound dress, how much do I get off? Well, you say, oh, it's 24 pounds off, mum. So that would mean it would cost 56 pounds. She'd be like, wow, you're so good at maths. Okay. So what about um, if it was a massive 60% off? So we're going to do 60% of 75 this time. So first of all, we need to divide it by 10 to give us 7.5. And because it's 60, we need to multiply by 6. So 6 sevens are 42. And then 6 times a half is 3. So that would be 45. Okay. Right, one more um, involving tens of percentages, as in 30 all. So we'll, let's do 80% um, this time. 80% of, okay, let's do 27. A bit awkward number, but never mind. Right, 80% of 27. So first of all, we're going to get, dividing it by 10, we're going to get 2.7. Now we've got to multiply that by 8. So I think we'll just do a quick um, 27 times 8. So 8 sevens are 56. 8 twos are 16 plus 5 is 21. So we get 216. Right, so what would that be? We had 27, so it can't be 216. It can't be 2, so it must be 2. Oh, sorry, I was going to write 2.16. It's going to be 21.6. Okay, now, what if you had to work out something like um, 27%? So 27% of 60. Right, well, you can't use the 10% idea. That's just not going to work, is it? So what we do this time is we're going to do 1%. So we're going to divide it by 100. So that would be 0 0.6. And then we've got to multiply that by 27. It's still quite tricky. So divided by 100 get 0 0.6. So all we do now is 27 times by 6. Six sevens are 42. Six twos are 12. Add the 4, 16. We've got 162. So we're, we're doing 25, 27% of 60, which is roughly a quarter. So a quarter of 60, we must... It must be 16.2. So, yeah, I don't normally, if I'm trying to multiply with decimals, I just normally do, do it, find the answer for estimating, because I find when you get something, we get one decimal times by another decimal, it gets very confusing. So I just estimate the value at the end to make sure I get the right, what they call order of magnitude. So in other words, it wasn't 162, it wasn't 1.62, it must be 16.2. Okay, get your pens and paper ready then for the quiz questions. So we're going to do four percentage calculations now. First of all, 10% of... 55. Question 2. 20% of 70. Question 3. 40% of 30. And question 4. 60% of 15. So if you haven't, you probably won't have finished yet, so stop the video do the working out and then restart and see if you've got the same answer as, as me, which hopefully are the right answers. Okay, 10% of 55, just slip in a point there. So that would be five, 20% 5. of 70 divided by 10, 10% double it gives us, so seven, double seven, 14, 40% of 30 divided by 10 to get three times it by four, give 12. 60% of 15 divided by 10, 1.5.
Now, you've got 1.5 there, times that by six will give you 7.5. Someone's obviously got one wrong there, but never mind. It can't be 7.5 because that is 50%. Always check your answers. So what did I do wrong there? So I should have done 1.5. I should have times, I times it by five. That's what I did. I should have times it by six, which would give us six times one is six. Six point, six times 0 0.5 is three. So that would give us nine. So the correct answer there is nine. Okay. Well done if you got all those right. Thank you for watching that video. And if you enjoyed that, please check out our website for more great online resources. So the address is www.routes2success11plus.uk or find us on Twitter at Roots to Success. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos. Thank you.